One of the best ways to access all of your digital files on Trello is through the Google Drive Power Up. This convenient and easy to use Trello Power Up will let you seamlessly access all of your files within Google Drive without even leaving the Trello platform. In this video, I'll show you how to set up the Google Drive Power Up and the best ways to use it to level up your productivity. So let's get into it. The Google Drive attachment is going to allow you to access all of your Google Drive files from any Trello card. We're going to start off in the Trello board that you want to access and connect your Google Drive to. Start by clicking on the Power Ups button on the top bar. From there, click on Add Power Ups. Then on the left hand side, you can click on Made by Trello button, and then you'll see a ton of different Power Ups. You're going to find the Google Drive Power Up and then click on the Add button. From here, a menu will pop up with all the details on the Power Up. Basically, what it's going to do is Add Google Drive accessibility directly into the cards with a built-in file search. That way you're not fumbling around between web browsers and dragging and dropping files. You can read this description over if you want, but we're just going to go ahead and add the power up to the board by clicking on the add button. From there, the power up has been added to the board and you can exit out of the menu. The second step is that we have to give Trello access or authorization to your Google Drive account. Now that you're back on the board view, go ahead and click on any card. Now on the right side of the card under the power up section, you're going to see the Google Drive button has been added. Go ahead and click on the button and you're going to be presented with three different options. Create and attach attach a file and attach a folder. You can click on any of these to start. Once you click, a small menu will pop up asking you to authorize your account. Go ahead and click on the link a Google Drive account button. Another menu will pop up asking you to sign in. Select the account that has the Google Drive that you want to connect. From there, it will ask you for your password. The next menu, you'll have to click on allow to allow Trello to access your Google Drive files. Now we're good to go with the entire power up. Once you've given access, you don't have to ever repeat these steps again. Now there are a few functions when using the power up and let's start with the create and attach option. So if you think of a file or folder that's not created that you want to create, you don't have to leave Trello to use this option. To get started, let's click into a card and locate the Google Drive power up button, click on the button and then select create and attach. From there, a menu will pop up and you're able to create a few different things. You can create a document, slides, sheets, a folder. Go ahead and select what you wanna create. Let's select a document. Once that's selected, Google will create a blank document and Trello will attach that document to the card itself. The Google Doc will be displayed within the card. From there, you can click on the Edit on Google Docs button. By clicking on that, a new tab will open in your browser and it will take you right into the newly created Google Doc. From there, you can edit it and add anything you want. Once you're done, close out of the tab on your browser and you'll be right back in Trello. The second option with this power up is to attach a previously created document. Click onto the card that you want to attach the document to, then select the Google power up button. From there, select attach a file. A menu will pop up that gives you access to all of your Google Drive files. You can search for a file using the search function or navigate the drive using the folders button. Hover over the document that you want and click on it. From there, hit the select button and Trello will add that document right into the card. Now, one thing to note is if you have multiple members on the card, you will need to give them access to the Google Drive for them to be able to access the documents and files. If you ever want to remove a file, click on the remove button that is right next to the file. The next function is to add a folder into the Trello card. So let's say you're working on a project by yourself or with a team and there are multiple files coming in and out of the Google Drive folder. Instead of adding each individual file and removing each individual file manually, you can give Trello access to the folder and the workflow will stay up to date with the relevant files. So click on the card you want to give access to the Google Drive folder to. From there, click on the Google Drive power up and select attach a folder from the dropdown. The menu will pop up and you can select any folder that's found within your Google Drive. Select a folder and hit the select button. From there, Trello will add the Google Drive folder section to your card. Now you can click directly into any file within the folder. You can also click on open folder in Google Drive right here in a new tab will open and you can edit via the Google Drive. The last feature of this power up is the presentation option. Now this is an interesting one that's completely different from the last three options that I just showed you. Now here is how it works. Let's say you want to turn this entire board into a Google slide presentation. You can do that with all in one click. Go to the Google Drive power up button that is on the top of the menu and then select create slides presentation. 
It will take a second while the presentation is being created. Once it's done being created, you can click on open presentation button. Click on that and the presentation will open in a new web browser tab. Basically, it organizes the presentation with the lists as the sections of the presentation and the cards as individual slides. From there, you can edit, add, and remove whatever slides you want to the presentation. Also note that the presentation is automatically saved within your Google Drive main folder. Again, this is a easy and quick option to turn your entire board or project into a Google slide presentation. I hope this Google Power Up is helpful and you find ways to incorporate it into your own workflow. Adding this power up to the board will help you access your files a lot quicker and level up your productivity. I have a ton of other Trello resources like a course and templates listed in the description below. But if you're still looking to level up your Trello skills, check out this Trello playlist I put together teaching you all the Trello basics so you can get more done in less time with less stress. And until next time, stay productive.